Question number nine. A figure is given. Figure five shows a sketch of part of the curve C with the equation y equals sine x upon 12, where x is measured in radians. The point M shown in figure is a minimum point on C. So part A state the period of C and part B state the coordinates of M. Okay, you are given this graph y equals sine x upon 12. They want you to find the period of this graph and the coordinates of this uh, minimum point. If we take the basic graph sine, sine x, the sine x starts from 0. This is our sine x graph. This is uh, 0 to 180. This will be 90. Uh, 270, 360, 360 plus 90, 450, 540, etc. That's our sine graph. In, when you look at the sine graph, your period is this. 360 is the period of sine graph because if you take this segment of this graph 0 to 360 and you paste it here you will get the continuous graph and the same thing on the negative side also that's why we call it period in between this period 0 to 360 0 to 360 360 degree is the period of sine graph because the graph keeps on repeating in between this interval so the period of sine graph is 360 degree. Now how about this graph? We need to find this uh, this angle, this unit measured in radian. So in radian, the actual period of the sine graph is 2 pi, 360 degree, but in radian it's 2 pi. So now we have the graph sine x upon 2. If we have f of x and we apply the transformation f of x upon a, we have learned that in chapter 2, your y coordinates won't be affected. Your x coordinates will be multiplied by a. So here, this point is 180 and 362 pi will be multiplied by this number 12. So 24 pi. So this value is 24 pi. So at every 24 pi, the graph is going to repeat itself. So the period of this graph is 24 pi. That's it. There is nothing else to do. It's just a one more question. And then they want you to find the minimum point. The minimum point here is, it's, uh, the minimum point is, y coordinate is minus 1. This is 270 degree. 270 degree, comma, minus 1. If you want to write it in radian, it's pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, comma, minus 1. That's the, that's the uh, minimum point. Again, the actual minimum point is 3 pi by 2, comma, minus 1. When you apply this transformation f of x upon a, your x coordinates will be multiplied by a. So you need to multiply the x coordinate by 12. So 12 times 3 pi by 2, y coordinate will be the same. So it will be 18 pi comma minus 1. That's the turning point here. 18 pi comma minus 1. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. Just uh, remember the, the things that we learned in transformations. Apply the transformation, you got the points already. Now part C. The smallest positive solution of the equation sine of x upon 12 equals k, where k is a constant, is alpha. Find in terms of alpha the negative solution of the equation that is closest to 0. And the smallest positive solution of the equation cos x upon 12 equals k. Question carries two marks. Okay, this is the a closest solution to positive solution to zero, the solution to the equation sine x upon 12 equals k. That means the curve sine x upon 12 and the line y is equal to k. If you draw a line here, it's still just a line. This is y is equal to k. 
So the the solution, the the smallest positive solution is alpha. They want you to find out the smallest negative solution which is closest to zero. Or in other words, the line of intersection, the point of intersection of this line and the curve here, the first point of intersection on the negative side of the x-axis. So when we extend this graph, let's say graph is something like this. So we know if this is 12 pi, this will be minus 12 pi and somewhere here minus 24 pi. <coughs> so they want you to find this point. So if uh, from the point of intersection with x-axis on the curve, this distance is alpha, this measurement is alpha. So we know for sure this also alpha. So if it is minus 12 pi, this point apparently it will be minus 12 pi minus alpha. That's it. That's the smallest positive negative solution which is closest to zero. This is minus 12 pi. Don't put minus 12 pi plus alpha. Minus 12 pi plus alpha will be somewhere here. This one. So this will be minus 12 pi minus alpha. That's the part one of uh, question C. Then uh, part two, they want you to find the smallest positive solution of cos of x upon 12. Cos of x upon 12. We are going to find the same thing using this. Uh, we are going to find the solution of this using the same curve. Now when you look at this curve, we know for sure that this point, this point is 6 pi. This is 6 pi. So when you move this graph, the whole sine graph to the left side, the 6 pi units, the maximum point will be here. So when you move the whole curve to the left side 6 pi units, your new graph will be something like this. This will be your new graph, which is the cosine graph. So what I'm trying to say here, the same sine graph, when you move 6 pi units to the left side, the graph will become cosine graph. Or in other words, cos of x upon 12 will be the same as cos of sine of x plus 6 pi upon 12. That's how we do the transformation. When you move a graph to the left side, 6 pi unit, you need to replace f of x by f of x plus a. If you are moving the graph to the left side, a units. We are moving the graph to the left side, 6 pi units. So replace x by x plus 6 pi here, which is same as cos of x upon 12. Now when you look at this alpha, So when you move the graph, the new point of intersection, let's not worry about the sine curve now. Only take the cosine curve now. That is uh, cos of x upon 12. So the line intersect the curve at somewhere here. So this will be your alpha now. This will be from the point of intersection until all the way here. This little unit is alpha. So the x coordinate will be 6 pi minus alpha. 6 pi minus alpha. That's the solution for the second one. So for the cos x upon 12, instead of uh, drawing an another an another curve, you you can draw an another curve cosine graph also if you want. You can just sketch a cosine function. And this is a minus 6 pi. You will have 6 pi here. If you draw a line y is equal to k, and they say the line crosses uh, sine x upon 12 at alpha, so this will be this little measurement here. This will be alpha. So the point here will be, don't put this as alpha, no. The distance from the point of intersection to the x coordinate is alpha. So this will be 6 pi minus alpha. So that's the closest positive solution for cos of x upon 12.
if you don't want to sketch this graph, you can take the sine graph, transform it to the left side, so it will become sine of x plus 6 pi upon 12, which is same as cosine graph. And the new point of intersection, we don't know the point of intersection, but all we know this distance is alpha, so 6 pi minus alpha. 